Okay, um, I got this project off uh, YouTube, and it's called the um, Art Project, the video series on YouTube. And uh, the teacher that's on there uh, showed several examples of how to do this, and he taught it one way, and um, I'm going to share his video on on here as well. And I'm going to show you the process that I went through, and we will be using analogous colors as well. This is supposed to be similar to, similar to microscopic uh, muscle tissue, connective tissue that's like around your muscles. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to choose, you're going to draw it first and one layer at a time first, and then you're going to color it with analogous colors. And remember, analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So I used blue violet. And I used, I mixed my colors, and we're using our Prismacolor um, pencils. I used blue violet, blue, blue green, green, and yellow green. Now, I want you to notice that each one of these, it, they have shadows. Like each layer, they're darker around the edges of each tissue, and then it's lighter on the top of it. Okay, and then you'll also see shadows on the layer below it. Okay, and I did, on my particular series, I used the colors complementary color to shade into that, um, into that color. Like blue, I put orange with it to make that shadow. Um, with blue-green, I used red-orange with it um, to make that shadow. And then green, I used red. And yellow green, I used red violet. Um, so th those are the colors I use. So you want to have your pencils ready for you, but I'm going to show you on a much smaller scale how to do this. Um, I, I printed this out of the first layer that I did. So you can see this. Let me, is that the, no. The colors look different because this was printed out, but, and this is the original artwork. But you can see this layer that I drew first, okay? So I'm just going to show you how I went about drawing that first layer. I drew circles. I'm trying to draw dark enough so you, you can see. Let me use this pencil. Okay, and you want to make the circles close together but not touching. Well, they're not really, they're half circles, I guess you'd say. And they don't have to be perfect circles. It's just giving you a random shape. All right, and then you'll put like a big circle or shape in the middle, and you want to make it close to the edges too. So I have something similar. So you can see that's similar to that. So to do my blue violet, I don't have a pencil that's just blue violet. And I don't want you to use the pencil right out of the box anyway. So I've got ultramarine blue and I've got violet. And I'll probably use this blue too. But what I'll do first is I'm going to go around and use like my ultramarine uh, blue because it's the darkest to make... I want to use the colors in the same color family, like my blues and then my greens and um, when you're doing each layer. The only time I get outside of the color family is when I'm doing my shadows on the layer below it. All right, I'm just going to shade this part of it, color this part of it so you can see how to do it. And I want you to look at how I'm coloring. It's very short little strokes, and I like to do little ovals or little circles because it keeps me from doing very scratchy looking texture. You want it to look nice. And where I want it darker, I'm putting a little bit more pressure on it. And the way you make it darker too is just you keep layering on top of it and top of it and top of it. So this is um, my blue violet, and I like to make sure I have it. I like to keep a sharp pencil. And one thing I love about these uh, Prisma colors, yes, they are expensive, but they do not break as often as your 
um, other color pencils. All right, so I'm gonna, I like to use the side of my pencil point just because it gives it a little bit lighter texture too, lighter uh, value. I don't want you to use black on this except for the very background later. The only, we don't want to shade with black because it, it uh, as the teacher on the video that I got this from, he says, that is boring. He said, we're going to use color combinations. And I, it takes me a good while to get one layer done because I take my time getting a nice soft texture. Now, once I've got my darker colors in there, then I'm going to go in. i got to put violet in there because remember, this is blue violet. I'm just putting a light shading of violet, and then I'm going to go over it with my lighter blue. And I like to keep nice crisp edges. I don't want to outline, but I want to make sure that it's clean edges. Okay, so now I'm going to use my lighter blue just to make it look appear, appear lighter in the middle. And look, I'm using my short little strokes and little circles. Okay, so then after that, you can even use a little white and it'll lighten it up more in the middle. Let me, um, the, the one thing about white color pencil, it really gives you, does give you some white to blend into the colors. You don't want to use too much. I'm just putting it through the middle of it. Because it changes the color to a tint of it once you do that. Now I'm going to take my blending pencil. I don't have my blending pencil over here already sharpened. Let me sharpen this. And then the magic happens with this blending pencil. It really makes it bold. Short little strokes. So we want to do five layers of this. I'm going to show you how to do the next layer right up under this section. where Because I, um, I want you to see how I put the shadows on there from on the layer below it. Because it really gives it a lot of depth when you put the shadows in there. So what this blending pencil does, it really spreads the color out and fills up the tooth of the paper. Okay, so you would continue coloring the rest of that layer. Then what you'll do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw the next layer.
So you want your layers to go under the holes. Okay, you want to be able to see it go. So I'm going to draw another circle. And I think this one's going to go up into this one. And back around this way. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another circle. That's close to this one but doesn't touch. Goes back around to this side. Then I'm going to do another circle. And I'll do another circle that goes into this one. And then I think I'll have a smaller circle here. All right. Then I need a circle in the middle of that one. All right. Then you're going to color. You're going to color the next color that's next to it on the color wheel. So this one's blue violet, this one's blue. I'm going to use two shades of blue. I'm going to use the ultramarine blue, and I'm going to use the true blue. And I'm just going to do like I did last time and use this as my side, but I'm not going to make it as prevalent as I did. I'm not going to bear down as much as I did on the um, first one. I want you to notice that I'm not using any color just straight out of the box. I'm blending it. So I'm making the edges darker. And I would continue going that way. And you don't want it to look like a dark line going around it. You want it to look like it's fading into the center. Okay, because that one's not that. Okay, so I'm just going to do it a little bit further out so it'll gradually get lighter. And I do that by not bearing down as much. Then I'm going to take my blue, my regular blue, and I'm going to bear down a little harder with this. And on the edges, I'm still going to bear down harder. So you want to see a definite difference in um, color from the from the blue violet to the blue layer. So the difference between the way um, the teacher on the other video that he did he taught it where you could draw all the layers at the same time, but when I started doing that, it was very confusing to me. So I figured it, for me, it would be easier to do it one layer at a time. And I put pictures on the slideshow that shows you what my layers look like one layer at a time. Um, once I get to this point, and you've colored the whole thing, then I'm going to take some white, and I'm going to mix in some white in the middle. Now, I'm not taking as much time as I did on the one before. Then I'm going to take my blending pencil. And 
and blend it together and it makes it so bold and so nice. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to do the cast shadows onto the layer below it from one layer to another using the colors complementary color. And you'll need your color well out to look to see what your colors complementary colors are because it does get confusing. All right, I want to finish coloring this top layer right here so I can show you those shadows under it. Okay. So you can see that. Now I'm going to get, let me get my color wheel. I keep a picture of my color, a color wheel on my phone to do these. Um, let me get my pictures. Here's a color wheel. So I'm looking, and blue's complementary color is, is orange. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and smooth where I want it. You want your coloring to be so nice and smooth and short little strokes. If you take your time on it and really layer the colors, it's going to look so nice. Okay. Um, let me, I need to get the purple. Um, I just need this to be finished right here so that I can show you the cast shadows. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do the shadows from this onto here. So if I look at blue, I want to use its complementary color. And the complementary color is the color across from it. So here's blue. The color directly across from it is orange. So I need to get my orange out. Here's my orange. And I'm going to put a cast shadow not very far out from it. on either side of it because we don't know where the light source is coming from all through this. And I just kind of gradually shade the color out. Then I go back over it with the blue to tone that orange down a little bit. And you can even use your darker shade that you used in there too for um, the ultramarine blue. And it'll really make each um, layer pop when you do that. Now I'm going to use my blendy pencil. I bear down when I blend because it really flattens out the color into the paper. So you can see how I did that where it'll show up. And so over here, you do the same thing with um, a, a little bit of, I'm putting a little bit of ultramarine blue right here and a little ultramarine blue right here, some orange, because it's the color's complementary color. And then I'm going to blend this out. Okay, and you got that shadow, and then there would be a shadow here too. Um, and then when this is finished, you would have shadows everywhere. So you can look at mine right here where you can see these shadows. You see the shadows here. 
So this is what it looks like. If you work on it layer by layer, and you can see that I even got smaller circles along the way um, on my layers. But I'm going to put uh, the Art Projects video on there as well so you can look and see how he did it um, with his students. Uh, and you can also see examples that he, of his, what his students did and get an idea of what looks best. Okay, see you next video.